the humanoid robotics race just took a dramatic turn because Engine AI has finally dropped the full demo of its T-800 and its monster. This isn't a lightweight lab prototype or a cute research robot. This is a full-scale, 6-foot-1, 85-kilogram machine built for raw power, durability, and extreme tasks most humanoids aren't even designed to attempt. In the new demo, the T-800 immediately stands out with its heavy-duty aluminum alloy frame. Every joint, every section of its structure looks engineered for impact. This thing isn't built for show. It's built for stress, load, and real-world punishment. You can literally see the industrial DNA in its movements. It's not trying to look like a human. It's trying to outperform one. The mobility test in the demo shows a surprising level of balance considering its weight. The T-800 walks with a confident, stabilized stride using its 41 degrees of freedom. Each joint acts like a shock absorbing system, allowing it to stay steady even during shifts in direction or sudden changes in momentum. Engine AI isn't going for hyper-smooth, dance-like motion like Figure or Tesla. They're going for control power, the kind of movement you'd expect from a working robot meant for physically demanding environments. One of the most striking parts of the demo is its new multi-sensor fusion system. You can see how quickly it reacts to changes around it using vision, force feedback, and tactile sensors layered together. This gives it real-time awareness, the same foundation needed for precise industrial tasks, autonomous operation, and yes, the combat-oriented challenges Engine AI keeps hinting at. And that brings us to the most controversial part of the T-800. Engine AI isn't hiding the fact that this machine is designed for combat sports and competitive robot fighting. Their upcoming event, the Mecha King Tournament, is planned for late December, and the T-800 is clearly being positioned as their flagship fighter. In the demo, you can see the robot demonstrating fast upper body movements, strong stance control, and quick recovery. Movements optimized for impact, stability, and self-correction under force. No other major robotics company is openly pursuing humanoid combat the way Engine AI is. And whether that excites you or concerns you, it's undeniably pushing robotics into new, unexplored territory. But beyond combat, what the T-800 really proves is that heavy-duty humanoids are becoming a serious category. Until now, the industry focused mostly on lightweight, agile assistance meant for factories, warehouses, and service roles. But T-800 opens the door to a different class of robots, machines built for physically extreme labor, disaster zones, high-load environments, or tasks too risky for humans. The solid-state battery, the reinforced skeleton, the high-torque joints, every choice points toward a robot that can go where fragile robots can't. This new demo doesn't just show progress. It shows intention. Engine AI is signaling that humanoids aren't limited to soft tasks or safe labs. They're preparing machines to perform, endure, and take on challenges we once thought belonged only in science fiction. Whether it becomes a commercial product, a competition robot, or a new industrial standard, one thing is clear. The T-800 is not just another humanoid release. It's a statement. And as the humanoid race heats up between Tesla, Figure, One X, Agility, Xpeng, and many others, Engine AI has planted a giant steel flag with the T-800. This is only the first real demo. And if this is the starting point, the next versions are going to be wild. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want deeper dives into the newest robots, demos, and AI developments, make sure to stay tuned. The world of humanoids is evolving faster than ever. And the T-800 just proved that 2026 is going to be another explosive year.